Sharon has completed her crash diet and her bariatric surgery will go ahead today. The main part of her stomach will be cut out, leaving only a narrow tube with much less space for food. Sometimes we have noticed that the tube is too narrow for some of the patients. If this happens, we may need to reoperate on you long term. If you're happy, I would like please to ask for your signature here. Print your name underneath and the date for us. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. The risk of serious complications is low, but the impact on Sharon's life will be huge. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you. See you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Today is the, the start of a new life, really. Hopefully. So, and hopefully a better one, not a, not a worse one. <laughs> it's not something that you say, well, I can always have it reversed if it doesn't suit. It's a complete life change, so she's going to have to eat differently now for the rest of her life, which I know is the whole idea. Um, I can't even imagine what that will be like. Someone said to me the other day, um, but it suits you being big, that's you, that's who you are, and that's your personality. And everyone knows me as as me, you know, uh, 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 Sharon, who, she's the, the big girl, she's, you know, yes, I'm quite bubbly and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, if I'm just a normal, average, slim person, will I just be insignificant, do you know what I mean? <laughs> will I lose me, you know? Then I need to find myself a nice, gorgeous hunk of a man then. Yeah. <laughs> through surgery, which I know is a risk, when really if I just had willpower and self-control, it wouldn't be necessary. There you go. You know, they're cutting half of your stomach away. We'll do four very small cuts across the top part of the abdomen of the patient. We're going to remove uh, main, main part of the body of the stomach. Nearly 9 in 10 type 2 patients see dramatic improvements after surgery. Recent evidence suggests bariatric surgery not only makes people eat less, but it can also kickstart the body's ailing insulin system. Yeah, give, wait there, wait there, wait there for us, wait there for us. We know that we can treat diabetes with bariatric surgery. It is a cure. We have heart evidence now to use this phrase, it is a cure. At the moment, bariatric surgery is the only way to control the current problem. Okay. One more clip, please. Okay. Sharon's bariatric surgery cost around 5,000 pounds, but it should prevent her from developing complications in the future. This could save the NHS money in the long run, and many doctors think more patients should be offered the treatment. It's an investment that the NHS has to pay it. So the resources have to be moved from somewhere else towards bariatric surgery, and it's not always easy. You have the clip one, yeah? Yeah. It's the dog ear at the end. Be careful of the dog ear, from not too. Specimen. This is a, a life-changing operation. We removed uh, part of the stomach. It looks like a narrow tube, but actually, when we are eating and drinking, this part of the stomach can really expand and accommodate several liters of volume. Very handy with the result. In the whole of England, there are just 6,000 weight loss operations a year, down on previous years. But if the NHS met the European average, it would do near 50,000, enough to make a small dent in the epidemic. I think it needs to be far more well understood than within the healthcare system. At the moment, I'm not sure whether everybody understands those benefits correctly. Within the NHS, there's been a, a reluctance 
to embrace bariatric surgery? I wouldn't call it reluctance. I don't know whether that is the right word, but I, I think it is. Uh, I think the transition has been very slow, uh, and a lot more people working with NHS need to be made aware of the benefits of bariatric surgery. Once that is done, perhaps we would start seeing more people preferring bariatric surgery as a treatment and more people being offered surgery as a treatment. For Sharon, the effects of surgery are immediate. I came home last night and I feel as though I've pottered around today and feel quite bright and chirpy really considering it was only three days ago. I think I'm going to try some oxtail soup. Well, I'm not thrilled by the look of it. Six. Six. Six teaspoons of soup. <laughs>